Hey, and welcome back to Vid Society. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to be taking other people's content and transforming it into a brand new SEO optimized article that will hopefully outrank them all using chat GPT and one prompt. So stick around. I think you guys are going to like this one. Now, if you watched my video from yesterday, you saw where I'm starting to build a brand new website based around natural remedy supplements and products I'm going to be promoting as an affiliate. But I want to get all of my content using chat GPT. I want to test it and just see how well it does rank in search engines and whether it stays there or not long term. To use this strategy, you have to use a brand new Chrome extension that just came out that is absolutely amazing. So this extension is called AI PRM for chat GPT. And I'll put this link below the video as well as some other links you may be interested in. So check those out. Now, once you have this installed, you want to go back to chat GPT and you want to log in and you should see something that looks like this. And what these are are prompts that are created by other people in the community. And so you can actually create your own prompts and keep them private or you can share them with everyone else. And you can even include a link to your website when you do that. Now, if we scroll down through here, you're going to see there's 110 different prompts currently added. And I have a feeling every single day this is going to go up by quite a few because the more people that knows about this extension, the more people that will be adding and sharing their own prompts. Now, there's a couple that I want to talk to you about today, and these are the ones that I'm going to be using to create content for my new website. The one I found I liked the most, and of course, this was only posted 13 hours ago, is the one called Outrank Article. So let's say you're making product reviews and you want to write a long content that's going to outrank your competition, but you don't want to take the time to do it. Well, for me, let me just jump over here to a page that I already found for a product that I want to promote on my new website. And this is already ranking on the first page of Google close to the top. So what I can do is simply copy this URL of my competitor, come back to chat GPT and click on this outrank article. And you'll notice down here at the bottom, it opens up this box and it says to enter your competitor's URL. So what we can do is paste this in here and we're going to start it and we're going to let it go. And what it's going to do is it's going to go through, analyze all the content uh, that's on that page which kind of surprises me because I didn't think that uh, chat GPT connected to the internet and pulled data from it, but for some reason it's able to do it. And so what it's going to do is rewrite the content that's on this page into a new SEO optimized long form article. Now you can see it's even adding tags and breaking down the article into different sections as well as adding bullet points. And all of this is very important for SEO and ranking in different places throughout Google. So what I'm going to do is pause this video and we're going to go ahead and let it finish. Okay, so if we scroll down to this article, you're going to see during the conclusion, it stopped. All you have to do is click on this continue button and it's going to continue writing more content. Now, I find this kind of funny that when they use this prompt, they use the word please in it because honestly, guys, this is a bot. You don't have to tell it please or anything like that. In fact, you can just put the word continue and it knows what to do and it's going to continue writing. So this is going to be a really decent sized article that we can use on our blog. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be going through and searching for a lot of these products that I'm going to be putting on my website for affiliate marketing. And I'm going to be finding my competitors. I'm going to take their URLs. I'm going to have this content rewritten. And then I'm going to be using that on my website and we're going to see just how well it ranks. And I'm also going to be adding probably videos from YouTube. I'll probably go find a video or even make one of my own uh, using like Pictory or something like that. Just a, a kind of a generic video to help boost its rankings. And if you want to learn how to do that, I got a video on my channel you can watch. But you can see this is done. And for some reason, it adds this box down here at the bottom. I'm not sure what this is for, but I've tried pasting it in my blog and everything, and it, it kind of looks like this here. So I'm not sure what that's for. But and so this is your article. You can just copy this and you can paste it. You want to make sure that you remove this section here from your article if you did click on continue. But now you have a full article that you can use. Now, let me show you some of the others. Let me come back here to new chat. Now, the other thing you can do is you can create blog titles from this generator here. This was just added 14 hours ago. So if you click on this one, all you have to do is come down here to the bottom and paste in what you want your title to be about. So for mine, let's say I'm reviewing this product here called H Eczema Formula. And then let me add the review to the end of it. And then you can click start 
and it's going to go out and create you, I think, like five different titles that you can use. And so this one here, say goodbye to eczema or H eczema formula review. This is great. But for me, what I would do, I would switch places with these. I prefer to have the main keyword at the beginning of the title. So mine would be our H eczema formula review or even remove our just have H eczema formula review and then say goodbye to eczema. And then here's some other examples you can use down here, too. So it gives you some really good ideas that you can use for your blog post. Now, the next thing I want to show you is how you can create your own articles based upon outlines and questions, which is really powerful also. So if you scroll down through here, you're going to see there's one here called outline for blog article, and you can use this one to create a an outline for a blog post and then you can tell chat GPT to expand on each one of those sections of the outline. But what I want to do is go to the next page and we're going to go here to this one called find questions. And it says, discover the top 10 questions about a specific keyword that targets an audience. So down here, you can see the format of how you need to enter it. You're going to put audience, semicolon, and then who your audience is, and then a comma. Then you're going to type in keyword, semicolon, and then your keyword that you want uh, questions for. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in mine here, and you can see how I did it. I put my audience's parents, and my keyword is eczema natural remedy. And then we're going to go ahead and click start. And it's going to create for us 10 questions based around this keyword that's targeted toward parents. And then we can tell chat GPT to expand upon each one of these questions and give us content for it. And then we can add that to our blog content also. And these are the two strategies that I'm going to be using to add the content to my new WordPress blog. So now that we have our 10 questions, I can come down here to the bottom and say answer one, hit enter. And what it's going to do is it's going to take this question and give me an answer for it. And then I can do this for each one of these questions. And that's going to give me another probably two, three, four hundred words or more that I can add to my existing content. And all of this I probably can create within 10 to 15 minutes and have this huge article that I can post on my website. And all I have to do is just repeat this process over and over for every product that I want to promote. And then we can just see what's going to happen over time and whether or not Google is going to rank it or not. And the other thing I wanted to show you before I forget is how to add your own prompts. So maybe you found one that you really like. What you can do is you can go back into um, these chats and you can see here the prompts that it creates for you when you search. Now, sometimes it doesn't save the data here that it creates. So you want to make sure whatever data that it creates for you or content it creates, you want to go ahead and copy it and either paste it on your blog or a Word doc or Google Docs or something so you can save it. But this is the prompt that it used for the last search I did. It says, I want you to respond only in English. I want you to act as a market research expert that speaks and write fluent English. Audience is going to be parents. The keyword is going to be eczema natural remedy. And then it says you will then generate the top 10 questions related to the keyword for that target audience, write all in English. So what you could do is you could take this prompt and edit it and write it to better fit whatever you're trying to do online. And then you can save it as your own prompt. So you could copy this. And then if we go back here to own prompts, you click on add new prompt template and you would just fill out the details here. And then if you wanted to share it publicly, you would tick this box here and you can include your author name and your author URL. That way, when it gets published, if you come over here, you're going to have a link right here. And when people click on it, it's going to take them to your website. So if you want to stay up to date with me and follow along as I build out this website, or even you can do it yourself and go back and start the other video that I did yesterday, then you can see how well I'm going to be doing with this new affiliate marketing journey using chat GPT for all of my content. So don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. That's it for this video, guys. Have a great day.